Hi everyone, hope you're well. Right, before I start thinking anything, I know what you're thinking, oh my god, Sarah's on live with no makeup on. Like, this is a massive deal for me. Um, but what I was thinking is, um, I'm going to be putting makeup on anyway, so I thought I'd just share with you what, what I'm using at the moment from wake up to make up. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I'm using this amazing brush set. Um, it's a six piece brush set. You get a powder brush, a cheap brush, liquid foundation, olive eye brush, a shading brush and a slanted brush. Um, and it's really lovely, really full. Um, and it's a lovely pouch. You get it in as well. I can just show you like this. And it's um eco friendly material. The brushes feature hundred percent non toxic handles and the um the writing is actually brand eco friendly ink. I just love them. Especially a concealer brush. It's amazing. Right, so I'm gonna get started. Because I don't like looking at myself and no makeup on the camera. <laughs> so I'm going to be using first um, our amazing Arbonne Makeup Primer. Um, this is actually like our number one selling product um, in the 500 products that we have. So I'm just going to take a pump like that, just work it in my fingers and then just. I can't believe I'm on camera with no makeup on. What am I doing? Hope you're all well. Love to know what you're doing today if you're work or going out or having fun with the kids. If I just look away to this side, just bear with me because I'm looking in the mirror. Because this camera's not really the best for doing makeup on. Right, so that's the primer. And then I'm going to use the Perfecting Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade Parcelain. Um, we do have other things. We also have um, a CC cream. It's a 10 in a 1. So it's got your primary concealer foundation in that. And that's really good for like a dewy look finish and um, for dry skin. Um, the liquid foundation is like a semi matte. Um, I have dry skin and I find both works well for me. We also have a powder foundation. I don't currently have any of that, but um, if you want matching for your shade and any foundation let me know and i can help you do that because i've got like a sample card right so yeah liquid foundation i'm just gonna put a pump in fact i'm not even putting a hill pump because i know i don't need a hill pump on my face I've got quite a small face so yeah about that much and i'm just going to use a liquid foundation brush and i'm just gonna so as you can see, like, I don't even put that much on and it's like covered that much already. So. I don't know about you, but does anyone like really concentrate when they're doing the makeup and you ever like pull that face that concentration face oh, i don't know but i love doing my makeup i love makeup anyway right so I've still got, I don't know if you can see that, all that's still left on my hand and it's done like half my face already. 
And I'm sorry if I look really pale on the camera. I mean, I'm really pale anyway, but... This shade's porcelain, as I said. Sometimes I think it makes me look even paler, but once you get your bronzer and your blusher and things on, it looks really nice. And then, that's about that used up on my hand now. So I'm just going to... I should try and use the camera really, I'm really sorry I keep looking in the mirror, but it's just habit. I'm not used to doing my makeup on a camera, so bear with. Right, so that's that. And then, I think I'm going to do my brows. I tend to go for two different ways of doing my brows. So, normally I would use the brow pencil, and this is in the shade medium, and it's just a twisty. And on the other side, you get a little spoolie on the end, so that's really good. The other way I do it, sometimes i feel like i've got more time i will actually use and it's really good for using actually um uh, eyeshadow and i use this shade here which is irk and that's quite nice sometimes and maybe I just want to change it up a bit sometimes but i'm going to use the pencil today it's really easy and I, uh, i'm gonna have to do this in the mirror i won't be a minute I'll come back and do it. Right, so I've done this eyebrow, like look at the difference and I've not even put that much on really. I'll do the other side. And all I'm doing is just filling in the hairs. I mean, I have really blonde brows and lashes anyway, so you can't really see them, but yeah, just fill it in. And then I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm just going to curl them through. And remember, your brows are sisters, not twins. I'm pretty sure you've heard that loud a few times by now, actually. Oh no. So that's that. I mean, they don't look that even in the camera, but in the mirror they look okay. <laughs> I'm not a professional dirt judge. I'm going to use our tinted brow cream. If you've ever used Benefit brow cream, it's very similar, but I think this one's so much better. Like, kind of looks the same, but it's so much better, and it's so much like healthier in terms of ingredients and benefits and things. So I'm just going to I do this on the camera. It's really hard in the camera because it's like not like a proper mirror, it tends it flips it around. So I think I might just stick to do it in the mirror. Right, the brow's done. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some random things on because my face is looking really flat. Right, so 
some other people use different brushes for like different things um, I know some people like to use the the cheek for the bronzer and things I like to use the powder brush just I don't know for me it works a lot better because this is like really good for loose powder or if you want to build something up rather than so I can see why people use it for the bronzer but I think the bronzer works well for me it's good for contouring the bronzer is one shade as well like one shade kind of fits all and you can really build it up if you need to um I don't think we've ever had any complaints really about the bronzer it tends to be really good if people do the bronzer different ways but I like to just go for the contour kind of thing and then what I do is I just like buff it in and then what you should, what they tend to do really is kind of do a three like that so around there and then there that's how they tell you to do it I think Sometimes I just do my own thing anyways. Like we all do. And then I like to just go under my chin. And then under the jawline just to blend everything in because. Because I said I'm quite pale, so it's quite hard to match anyway. So I'll just blend everything in. Blend, blend, blend. Sometimes I like to do it down my nose just to make it look a bit thinner because I know. Right, that'll do. So yeah, this bronzer comes like in a little compact like this, and you get a mirror. That's what that looks like. Next, I'm going to do some blush. This is in the shade Ballet. Um, we don't get a little mirror in this one, but it's in a nice little compact, and it's kind of you can't really see the colour that well, but. It's like a soft rosy pink and then I like to use the cheek brush for this one because the bristles are like a lot more separated so it's good for building up so I never use the one for wearing blush eye but since using Arbon I found actually I can't really live without it so what I like to do just now and put it in the little cheeks, put my pussy cheeks, and then sweep it upwards. I suppose we all have our different ways of doing our makeup, don't we? I'd like to know what everyone's preferences with like blush, and like, do you wear blush? I don't, yeah. Yeah, let us know. That'll do. Right. So that's done. Right now, 
I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm sorry if I keep bending down, all my makeup's down here in my little box. Um, so, eyeliner. It's back. It did go for a while, but now it's back, and I am so happy because I cannot live without my eyeliner. <laughs> it's amazing. <clears throat> and the tip as well, it's not like your standard brush tip, um, which at first I was a bit dubious about, but actually it's miles better because once you've used it a few times with a brush, they tend to like split on an eyeliner, if you know what I mean. But this is a felt, um, so it's never going to do that. So that's amazing. So I'm just going to put this on. Bear with me because I'm going to look in my mirror because this is, you know what it's like with eyeliners. Um, are you on eyeliner with the person or? I mean, do you prefer pencil or no eyeliner at all? I've tried pencils and I just. I don't know, I just can't really, I can't get used to it. Although the other one is really good. I've tried a few times with that one. It seems to be okay. But I guess I've just got more practice with the liquid eyeliner. I like a really black line as well. Wait. Concentration face is coming back out. I mean that lands not the best but it'll do for today. It's really nice and sunny today, which is very nice to know because I don't know about you but I'm sick of the cold and the rain. Sorry if I'm real sniffly, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment. As I'm sure some of you have, I know a few people have things. So I'm just going to do the other eye. Actually, I'm going to put the mirror down here. Is anyone good at doing wings, like on your eyeliners? Because sometimes I think, yeah, yeah, I'm actually quite good, and other times I think, just rubbish. How many times do I wear eyeliner and I still can't do it? Okay, I think.
Just go in the other way. Right, I'm just going to do some clean up. You're allowed to clean up, right? Cool. Yeah, that'll do. Right. So that's how it, it's a fine line liquid eyeliner. Um, it comes in two shades. It comes in Eclipse, which is black, and Arbor, which is brown. I'll show you the pencil eyeliner as well. Um, it's really cool actually. So this is the shade carbon, which is black. And then also has a twisty, and which is really cool, which you don't get with any other eyeliners. I don't think pencil ones anyway. Is it comes with like a little sharpener at the end of the pen. So that's really cool. And then it's come in several different shades. So if you want any more information on these, let us know. This is the best bit. Mascara. Um, this is it's a long story mascara, and honestly, I couldn't believe it when I first saw this tube. But this tube is such a big bottle of mascara, I think. Well, probably a bit, bit bigger than your average. And I've noticed with it's proven to lengthen your own eyelashes um, just from wearing it. And I've noticed recently when I've been taking my makeup off or I wake up in the morning, I can actually see a difference in the length of my um, eyelashes because like, I have really blonde eyelashes and they was really short. But now I can actually see them and they look like they've got more volume as well. So I absolutely love this mascara. So if anyone wants a sample, let me know because I've got some. And I'll send you one of those free. Right, so I'm going to go in and do my mascara. Before using Arbonne, I used to always switch mascaras. I was always looking for like a natural based mascara because I was having problems with um, dermatitis around my eyes, so I didn't want anything else irritating it. And after all that, and it was such a struggle to find one because I'd never heard about, about Arbonne before. And I was using Benefits, they're real. And this, uh, as soon as I tried this, I just thought it's actually better than Benefits, they're real, like in terms of length. And it's not, it's probably about the same sort of price range as well. And just to think that theirs is probably full of chemicals, but this is like full of like absolute goodness and it's beneficial and it's making my eyelashes longer. It, it's just a new brainer. Really. In fact, I think this one probably lengthens my eyelashes more than that did. Like I would never go back though. Never, always just this one. Because I've never 
found anything better than this. And I've tried loads of mascaras. I've tried it on my fibers in, get everywhere. And I thought those were real good, but this is just incredible. Yes, yeah, so if you want, if anyone wants any samples, let me know because I've got, I've got some. Should have had some music on in the background or something, really, shouldn't I? Just that here in sounds, do my makeup, you know. Do. I think you can see that. That's one layer. I have really short eyelashes, but that's one layer with mascara. I usually go for two because why not? Just do my bottom lashes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, and I've done that, I'm going to go back in and do a second coat just because that's my personal preference. And um, I like to leave it to dry and then go in and do another one because I just think it's more effective. I mean, I don't think there's much difference to be honest, but that's just what I like to do. So now I'm going to do our amazing setting pretty translucent powder. I was never one for setting powder. I thought, what's the point? Oh my god, how long was I? I just love it now. Absolutely love it. it makes such a difference. It just evens everything out. So yeah, it comes with a little mesh like that. And I'm going to use the cheek brush again. This is the same one as I used the blusher with. But it tends, this brush, because it's uh, I don't know what the word is. It, the brush is quite loose in terms of it's quite flexible, so the the blush doesn't stay there. It goes on your face quite well. So I like to use it for both because it's just more reasonable. So what I do is you just dab it in the pot. I'll show you next time actually it in the pot and then I just tap off the excess. So see I've got that on there and I'm just gonna buff it all around. I'll show you this time. Just dab it in the pot like that. Tap off the excess. Sometimes I like to just, if I've got too much, just dab it in the lid. Do it in there because that works quite well as well. I didn't show the concealer, did I? Sometimes I don't wear it, sometimes I do. 
depends how I feel and how I feel my skin is looking. Um, but honestly, the concealer is amazing. Actually, I might just do it over this anyway, just just because cause I want to show you. Obviously, I won't normally put it over my setting powder and all. I would normally do it um, after my foundation. And this concealer brush is amazing as well. It's my favourite brush. I love it. You can get like a kind of buffer kind of blending brush on the top and then your normal kind of concealer brush at the bottom. Sorry, man's really mucky. I'm going to wash him today. Um, so I'll just put some on the back of my hand. And I'm just going to take this end this time. And actually, I'll, I'll do it with this end. And I just normally go under the eyes and then just below the brow burn. And then I don't know anywhere else you want highlighting. I normally just do the teasing. I'll do there as well. And then I'll just take the buffing end and then just blend it in. Natural fat. Do it on top of your setting powder is actually working out really well for me because it's not it's sticking to where you want it rather than blending it and it's not doing much. I mean it does a lot anyway, but you know sometimes when you get concealer and it's not covering as much as you'd like. This is actually proving really well on top of setting powder. I haven't not tried this before. And then, yeah, just blend it all in. Done. I need to put a little bit on the back of my hand. So yeah, this is the um liquid concealer. This is in the shade Fair. They come in a few shades as well, and it just comes like a standard. This is like a lip gloss kind of end, but it works really well, and it is amazing as well. It covers so good, and it's not too drying as well. Sometimes I think with concealers especially the better ones sometimes they can really dry my skin out but this is actually proven to be really good for me anyway um so yeah that's that i'm actually gonna go over my eyes just a bit more setting powder just to set that in place because Sometimes I get just the way my eyes are, I get creases and stuff, as we all do. I mean, I normally wouldn't do it twice, but for the sake of it. And then I'll just go over again with mascara. This will be the second coat. I can do this in. I think it works better in the mirror actually.
Right. So that's two cuts. So long. Look how long they are. Oh my god. Right, I just love long lashes. Right. Also, some of you might find this weird, but I'm putting some highlighter on now. This is a Lash Eagler highlighter. And it just squeezes out. Sometimes I like to use my fingers or a beauty blender or even the concealer brush because that's amazing for doing that as well. Um, and the reason, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I put it over my, my setting powder because the setting powder mats everything down evens everything out but when you put highlighter on you don't want to then map your highlighter down if that makes sense and um, you want it to be still there so that's my reasons for doing that um i'm going to use my concealer brush actually today so i know i've just done my concealer with it but is that gross i don't know I do wash it. So I've just put that much on. It's like a pinky, peachy kind of liquid. And then I'm just going to dab the buffering end in. And then just go up here. You can see it anyway. Um, and then just dab. Sometimes I work put this on every day as well, like depends what mood I'm in. But for the sake of the video and sharing everything with you, I'm gonna do it. And then the same up the other side. I think I need a bit more on that side actually because it's not even but I don't know if you can maybe see it better back here. Uh, yeah. And then finally, I'm just going to finish with a lip gloss. Actually. I'll do a lip liner as well. So we have various shades in our lip liners. So this is in the shade Peach. Also comes with a twisty and a pencil sharpener in the in the pen. So that's cool. I'm just gonna do that. Like that. And then, so I'm going to be using the lip gloss today, and this is in the shade Linden. It's kind of a peachy, pinky colour. That comes in a few shades, quite a lot. And this comes in a load of shades as well. This is our lipstick. And uh, I don't know about you, but I think the way these are packaged are just beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but there's even like a stamp in the lip, top of the lipstick. And um, that is in the shade Magnolia. And they have loads of shades as well. So if you want any shades for... Um, any lipstick, lip glosses, lip liners, eyeliners, eyeshadows, anything, let me know. I haven't used any um, eyeshadow today, but I don't really 
wear a lot of eyeshadow, but they are really lovely when I do wear them. So if you want any info on that, let me know as well. So I'm just going to do lip gloss. Right. Sorry, it's just sorting my things out. I mean, I don't really wear my lip liner that much, but it actually looks really nice in the mirror. Yeah, and that's me. So if anyone wants any more information, anything I've used today or anything I've talked about, please drop me a message. Also, um, I'm having a pamper party on Friday night at 7.30 um, that'll be an amazing chance like if you're interested in makeup or skincare or any of our products really come come down um, because we're going to be sharing a lot of our products and it'll give you a chance to sample them for free and um, see the full size products and get a really good um, like look at all the stuff really and we can have uh, a good pamper, a good natter um, yeah skincare trials, facials, hand scrubs, makeovers it'll be lovely so if you want to come drop me a message you're more than welcome and you can bring a friend as well if you like um, so yeah so hope you have a lovely day everyone and I'll see you all soon bye